we are about at the shop and uh yeah i'm in the town car today it kind of rained a little bit today and last night but yeah Hopefully the shop is disarmed because I don't want to check it. It probably is. Uh, I'll go check. Or not check, but unlock the key and see if it's going to set the alarm off. So. And of course, never, when I never check, it seems to be armed. But we'll see this time. Nice, it isn't. Yep, there's the blue truck and the mowers now. So, I started mowing yesterday. But this video, I'm going to start the black truck here. Um, I don't know why it's such a long video, but you guys are just going to have to deal with it. I haven't fired that thing up since I parked it there. So, yeah, let's start it. I'll probably roll it around a little bit even. I wouldn't, I'm not driving down the road because it's shocked, but I think the insurance is still on it. So, let's just start it up. Yeah, I uh, took the wipers off of it and put it on, put them on Gasser because Gasser's wipers are actually crap. So, but the F-150 does have Gasser's old wipers on it because it's, the truck's not worth fixing. There's nothing really to fix and weld there because of how rusty and rough it is so still kind of sucks that I can't drive it anymore I was hoping it was going to last a little longer but at least my mom didn't fill it completely up but still had $50 of gas put in it there it is in all of its glory and not only that but the cab leaked back here you can see the black and it leaked from the handle Still kind of smells decent in here. Fires right up. Yep, gas is old wipers. Didn't even hit its oil change yet. Still runs good. I want to keep starting it like every once in a while. Let's see how good these wipers work. But definitely not great anymore. One of them's completely peeling off, you can see there. Hey, they still they're still good enough though, so. Alright. There it is. It's a smell, man. Huh, I kind of smell something weird. But, not only with the shock, but the frame's gotten a lot worse. You guys know the bed's gone, the cab's gone, it just, and it leaks inside. But the motor and transmission is coming out of it. And I plan on taking the radio out and I want to see if I can put it in my town car and see it's a little different setup but I the town cars the uh, buttons on this side don't work but I'm wondering if this will work in the town car I would like to take the speakers out the seats are too bad a shape to come out cluster is definitely coming out because I like the design of it that's coming out of course the LEDs are coming out I take the doors off, but they're freaking rusty as crap there. Nothing good about this truck anymore, just the engine and trans. Oh, there's that piece of junk car over there. All right, let's uh, move it. It's not that cold today, but the wind today is kind of terrible. All right, here we go.
I didn't even take the whole rear end out of this. It's got an 8.8 rear end in it. Yeah, it doesn't hold to hurt to roll this thing around still. It still drives good. I still want to know how long that shock was off of there for when I got gave the truck to my mom to drive for a whole week. A little longer than a week actually. Oh well, at least there's more F-150s out there, but this being my first truck, that's kind of a shame. one bit with that shock hanging there it's crazy very crazy to me oh just let it back here and let it run for a bit let's go check on this thing let's see what it looks like now there's that tick Alright. <laughs> yep, it's uh the fog light is kinda crap. I don't remember that. Or that. That fog light's okay. There's something wrong with it, so that's why. And of course the lock this thing oh well if a window breaks I don't want to hear it still running good I do want to take this <laughs> that muffler off this I'm not leaving it on this because it sounds so good if I get another F-150 I'd like to take the cats off and use the same muffler and exhaust tip on it so, hopefully, fingers crossed, hopefully we can do that. But pretty much this uh, place is known for the rotted out vehicles. Those two Broncos are rotted out. The Sable and the Echo are rotted out. That 73 is rotted out. Those two are rotted out. And all those vehicles there are rotted out. And then that little Sabre is also rotted out. So everything is here pretty much because it's rotted out. Um, I guess I'll call this F-150 starting updates, but I would like to make a video on this Bronco soon. Um, I would like to, if I ever see the owner again, I would like to, you guys are going to call me stupid for this, but I'd like to buy, buy this piece of crap. Um... It's got a good run in 460 in it. That's the only reason I want it. Nothing is nothing else is good on it. But it just sits here rots away. Um I wouldn't mind buying this thing for like four or five hundred bucks at least. But other than the Swiss cheese body, it's got a good interior in it. But Nobody wants the bench seats anymore. Um, 
no keys in this piece of crap. So, yeah, this thing's just a pile. Got like three flat tires. Yeah, look at that. Yep, that's the only good one, and that's the worst tire, of course. All right. Back to the truck. Yeah, good thing I didn't clean the inside of this truck again. Alright. It's been 11 minutes just of a video that's probably boring you guys at this point. So, move this around front real fast. Ooh, you can tell now. You can hear all the noises. Yeah, look at that. I'll show you. I don't think. I showed you guys the bed. Doesn't even look like the whole thing is flexing when this truck is moving. Holy crap, man! It's just flexing real bad. All right, that's it for this one. So, yeah, I can see the whole thing flexing. I'm gonna let it run for a little bit longer.